Friday night's football game between Sissonville and Herbert Hoover ended with a victory for the Huskies, but not all players for Herbert Hoover were recognized in the same part. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is on scene at Sissonville High School. She spoke with families of two players at Hoover who say their kids transferring from Sissonville is the reason for the lack of recognition. Both Blake Fisher and Talon Harrison helped Herbert Hoover secure a win over the players' former home of Sissonville Friday night. But their families say their names were never called during any of their helpful plays. And they say they're more than just numbers. As Talon Harrison's family watched him score for the Herbert Hoover Huskies Friday night, they never heard his name called by the announcers at Sissonville High School. I thought to myself, maybe that'll only happen once. Surely, maybe it's a coincidence, but it had me on my toes. The same situation happened when Hoover's Blake Fisher scored. It was like, we don't want him to be recognized for what he does. I mean, he loves his football. And talent does too. They've played together for years. Fisher, a sophomore at Herbert Hoover, and Harrison, a junior, both transferred from Sissonville before the start of the school year. In a statement posted Tuesday on Sissonville High School's Facebook page, the school's principal, Dr. Gene Smith, wrote in part, quote, Recently, I made the decision to not announce the names of former Sissonville High School players who transferred out. I acted alone in this decision and take responsibility for my actions. Referencing the athlete transfer bill passed during West Virginia's last legislative session, Smith went on to write, My intent was not to disrespect these two young men, but to draw attention Attention to the recruiting effort facilitated by the new law making transferring much easier. My issues with adults, lawmakers, and coaches should have never allowed me to make these young student athletes have their competitive spirit discredited by a poor decision. I apologize to Blake Fisher, Talon Harrison, and those I offended. The transfer rule allows students in high school to transfer once and still have athletic eligibility. Delegate Dana Farrell, who represents Sissonville and has submitted paperwork to reverse the athlete transfer bill next legislative session, says he's been worried about this happening with the current rules. I don't blame the, the student athlete or their parents for wanting to try to better themselves the best way they see how. Uh, what we do, I do blame is the legislature for creating an environment that allows this to happen in mass. The players' families say they just want what's best for their kids. My son doesn't need an accolade. He doesn't need someone to announce his name. It's just the behavior of it and the reasoning behind it. This wasn't something that I want my, part, my son to be part of. And maybe he knew that all along. I don't know. I've asked him several times, are you happy at Hooper? And he says, yes, I am. So, and he knows not to lie to Papa. I reached out to Dr. Smith asking for an on-camera interview, but he declined my request. In Kanawha County, Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3. Now, Smith did tell us going forward, play calls will go back to their standard procedure, announcing player name and number on each play. We also reached out to Kanawha County Schools to see if anything was done about this incident. A spokesperson said they cannot comment on personnel matters.